We're just out looking at new spring styles in our local Fenix. Um, I've just bought a fantastic pair of earrings and we're loving this print and especially those trousers from Weekend Max Mara. How fab are those? Great with just a simple t-shirt and a pair of trainers or dress them up for the evening as well. Love, love, love the different colours that they've got in this season. Gorgeous little t-shirt. Fab. Great with linen for the summertime. And then I like this skirt as well because although it's black and white, it's got that little bright pop of green in it and they've paired it here with green as well. That combination is absolutely fab and there's quite a lot of this fresh sort of spring green around this season. I love this colour combination because if you want to mix a bit of warm and cool, you've got both in there. Really unusual print. Hello and welcome back to a new video. In this video I want to talk a little bit about having the confidence to be you, to dress in a way that is um, authentically you and not to be worried about what other people think. Because I've had a few conversations lately with women who um, feel like they struggle to really be themselves, um, to put themselves out there, to be confident in what they're wearing. And I completely understand this because um, as somebody who helps other women dress, this is something that I have had to do as well. And I know that last year when I wasn't feeling my best, it was something that I struggled to do, to really dress the way that I wanted to, because um, we have all those feelings inside of, um, I don't really like the way that I'm looking. I look in the mirror and I don't see me anymore. And this was something that I very much went through last year. And as you know, I've been through a process of improving my health, um, of updating my wardrobe, of really working on how I feel about myself from the inside and developing that outwards as well. And I've really now started to be much more myself, have the confidence to dress the way that I want to. And so I wanted to sort of talk to you a little bit about um, how I've done that and perhaps how you can do that too. And it ties in really nicely with a little bit further on in the video. Um, I'm going to show you some footage of of the lovely retreat that I took one of my VIP clients on last week and um, she is a great example now I'm not going to tell you too much about her because obviously I want to keep her information private but what I will say is that this lady is somebody who is incredibly impressive and accomplished um, she was approached by a publishing house to write a book, which she did, which um, has had a lot of acclaim in her subject topic. She is an expert and one of the only people, well, in fact, I think she is the only person in the country who does what she does. She speaks on panels, she delivers courses, um, she does mentoring. She is a very impressive lady. She runs her own business. Um, she's a mum as well. But the one thing that she has really struggled with is um, feeling confident about the way that she looks. And she has an event coming up which she's going to be speaking at. And she really felt like um, she wanted to stand out. And what I said to her was that if I was at that event, my feeling is that I would want to be looking at her and thinking, she looks really interesting. I want to hear what she's got to say. And she really felt that the, um, she had some photos from the last event that she did and she really wasn't happy with the way that she looked. And so we talked a lot about how we could bring out that expertise, but also she still needs to be approachable. Um, she wants to be memorable, but it's all still got to fit in with her personality as well. So it's a really fine balancing act to get that right. 
And so that's why these VIP retreats work so well. My VIP service works over a six month period and it means that during that time over the retreat it's a very luxurious relaxed environment i'm going to pop in some footage in a minute so that you can see but it means that the person that i'm with can start to feel comfortable with me i can um be watching them all of the time but not in a confrontational way or not in an intimidating intimidating way but just so that I can really get to know them and really get to understand them so that when we come away from that retreat after she really feels comfortable with me and she's picked my brains about things and I've really dug deep and got her to um, do a whole load of exercises so that I can really get to know her it means that when we come away from that I can start to design a wardrobe around who she really is. So I know that um, my VIP service isn't for everyone. Um, I will put details down in the description box if you are interested. But if this is something that you're struggling with, I would really recommend that um, you find some quiet time and you start to really dig deep about what's important to you, what do you love, how do you want to project yourself to the outer world and as you start to think about that, start thinking about who it is you're dressing for and why perhaps you don't feel confident to really be yourself because at the end of the day you should really be dressing for you and what you want to project out into the world and I also think that um, we're done a disservice, those of us who are in midlife, you know, and from 50, 40, 50 onwards, because we don't get as much attention from brands and advertisers as we should do. We are the women who, in a lot of cases, have the money to spend and they're targeting everything at a much younger audience. And it's really hard to find brands that target, say, the 50 plus woman, but in a modern, stylish way. There are a few, there are a few that I've found that um, perhaps don't necessarily target us, but that I really like, um, that I wear and recommend to my clients regularly. But the brands who perhaps do target us, sometimes I look at them and think, gosh, they're really frumpy. Also, at, towards the end of this video, I've put together some outfits. How you might think about wearing them, but how you can update them to be that little bit more modern. So, I also did a video a few weeks ago about denim and how to update that. Now, in these um, pictures later on, I have also put a pair of skinny jeans because I know that a lot of us still have skinny jeans in our wardrobe and I don't want to say to you, don't wear them anymore. Um, they aren't the on-trend style to wear, but you can still wear them and I've given you an idea of how to wear them just to update them a bit and make them look a little bit more modern. Now, Looking a little bit more modern and updated is something that I want to address for women who are in business as well because if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s beyond and you're working then there are a lot of younger women coming in and if you don't look like you're, you're up to date or modern or contemporary there could be a perception that that's the case with your ideas as well. Now, um, this is unfair, I know, because, you know, I'm pretty good with technology for somebody of my age compared to a lot of younger people and compared to a lot of people of my age. It's something that I know about. It's something that I do and it's something that I know that I can do well. Um, but I've had a career in technology, so I do try to keep up to date with what's going on. And I know that's the same for many women in business as well. But if their um, style and their outfits haven't moved on, there could be that unconscious bias. And unfortunately, it's around. It's not just ageism. 
and we have to work with that. So we have to make sure that if we are in business, we still look like we've got our finger on the pulse as well. So if you're thinking that, you know, it doesn't really matter what you wear to work or it doesn't really matter what you wear on a Zoom call, believe me, it does. Because you don't want to be pushed aside and disregarded and thought of as dated. So I'm going to pop in some video now about the retreat for you. Just arrived at my room, Penny Hill Park, which is beautiful, absolutely huge, <laughs> really luxurious. I could almost play rugby here, which um, the England rugby team do seem to be at their um, centre, just in the entrance. Penny Hill Park has their um, centre in the entrance to um, the estate. There seems to be a lot of activity today and my husband reliably tells me that there is a rugby game going on this weekend against Wales. Um, here's my shower, which uh, again is huge. Could possibly almost get the rugby team in this bathroom. Wishful thinking maybe. <laughs> As my husband pointed out, they're probably all about 19 or 20, so would not be interested in an old lady like me. actually quite a beautiful morning here this morning and um, the pool is not heated at the moment so I didn't use the outdoor pool I did use the indoor one but um, just had a quick time in the spa and I'm going to um, dry my hair get ready and then come back here for breakfast so and then go back to working with my VIP clients so looking forward to another day spent with her. So as you can see the retreat is real luxury and the way that the VIP works is we meet up for lunch first of all at a lovely restaurant that um, I found which isn't too far from the hotel that we stay at. So we sit and have lunch um, if it's somebody that I don't know then it's a good opportunity for us just to sort of break the ice and get to know each other then we go to the hotel and check in and we meet up um, in my room and we sit and we go through a load of exercises questionnaire um, some word ideas and we just talk in general about what their issues are about their personal style about what they'd like to change about what their goals are so that we can start to build a picture of where we are now and where we want to go and um, then we have a lovely dinner in the restaurant together and then the um, guest goes off and has time to themselves. There is a beautiful spa there and from when you check in right the way through to the following day at 2pm you have access to the spa so if they want to go to the spa in the evening they can do. In the morning there's a couple of options either um, we can go to the spa together and spend time there or as I did this time with my client and we met up for a late breakfast actually in the spa cafe which again is beautiful and then sat in the lounge there and worked together which again was really lovely it's lovely and peaceful it's a beautiful sort of zen environment um, lovely big comfortable sofas where we can just sit and work together without anybody bothering us and um, in a completely lovely relaxed environment and then after the, tr the retreat I come back with a load of information that I've gathered and um, some keywords and some mood boards so that we can start to build a picture of what it is we're looking to achieve and then over the next six months we do things like put colour palettes together, um, put a style profile together, we uh, may create a core capsule wardrobe if there's events that you need to dress for then I help you with that 
I create your online wardrobe for you. I put recommendations and outfit ideas in there. There's even a diary in there. So if you have got events coming up, I can post outfit ideas in there. I hunt down specific items and um, really create a cohesive wardrobe that is going to reflect your personality and who you truly are and really work for your lifestyle. And then at the end of the process, we have another get together and um, a bit of a celebration. And there is the opportunity to continue working with me if you want to as well, if you want me to keep on updating your wardrobe for you. So that's how the six month process works. And as I said, it's something that is quite a special process. Um, it's very in depth. It's like having me in your wardrobe with you. So if ever you have an issue or you don't know what to wear, I'm there to help you. So as I said, this isn't something that is going to be for everyone who's watching this video, but you could take elements of that and do it for yourself um, if you don't want to work with me. So it's a case of really thinking about who you are, what you want to achieve, how you want to look, and you know I'm a great fan of a mood board and putting together a mood board. So that would be a really good starting place for you and it could be a Pinterest board, it could be one that where you actually um, cut out pictures and stick them to something physically but think about you know how do I really want to feel, how do I really want to look because that's your starting point. And then you can start to design your wardrobe around that. And obviously I am here to help you if you would like my help. Now, having said that, um, a few weeks ago, I did post a picture on Instagram of a um, kind of right and wrong way to wear jeans. And it was really popular. Um, a lot of you um, liked it and commented on it. So I thought I would do some more of those. So those will be coming up on Instagram. But I thought I would pop a couple of pictures in here for you of some ideas and how you can update them. So the first one is something which a lot of us wear in the spring months and that is the Breton top. Now the Breton top doesn't really date but I'm gonna put a picture in here of how you might think of wearing it. And um, this is dated, frumpy, boring, um, sorry to be blunt, but I'm talking about me, so that's okay. But there is a much better way to do this. So I'm keeping the jeans and I'm keeping the Breton top, but you can see in this second image, I've just made it that little bit more modern and I've made it a little bit more fun and a bit more interesting by adding some accessories. I've swapped out the shoes for a pair of trainers. It's a much more modern way of wearing the outfit. I've popped a gilet over the top and this one I have had for years. Um, unfortunately, it's not available anymore. I will see if I can find something similar to this. Um, again, the scarf I have had for years and I've done something a little bit creative by mixing spots and stripes here. And just by adding those accessories, I've just made the outfit a little bit more interesting, a little bit more creative. And I actually think that I look much slimmer in the second image than I do in the first one as well. Now the next outfit that I've got for you is, I was talking about skinny jeans. So here is, for me, the wrong way to do it now. So I've popped on a pair of skinny jeans, I've paired them with loafers and, you know, that thing about let's put a blazer with it. Okay, fine, but again, to me it's really boring. So let's have a look at how we can make these skinny jeans much more interesting and much more up to date. So what I've done is I've rolled them at the ankle and I've put them with a pair of platform trainers. Now, um, these might be a little bit out of your comfort zone, but I think that it just makes the leg look longer, slimmer, and um, it just gives it a much more modern look. And I've actually paired the, the jeans with this um, cardigan, which is like a hoodie, um, but it's a really lovely soft knitted hoodie. And then with that, I've created some shape by adding this crossbody bag to it. 
And then in this picture, I've just added a gilet over the top of it. Again, it's that slightly sort of um, athleisure look. And then finally, if you do still want to wear a blazer, a lot of brands are styling these kind of hoodies under blazers as well. And it's a much more contemporary way of wearing a, a blazer and jeans. Now the next look that I've got here for you, again starting with one which I think is a little bit boring and a little bit frumpy, and that's a pair of these wide leg um, side stripe trousers, which of course you can find everywhere. These are from Reese, but everyone does them. Um, Marks and Spencers do plenty of them, so if you want to try them out without spending too much, that's a good option for you. Um, but the brands that I also like that do them are um, Reese. These are, again, are Reese, although they don't have the stripe, but they're that kind of slightly jogger style. Um, the White Company always do them, and Me and M is another brand that always do them as well. If you want, to, if you want something that's a little bit more premium. So with this particular outfit, again, it's looking a little bit frumpy. I don't really think loafers are the right shoes to wear with these trousers. I think they look much better with a trainer. And also this cardigan, again, it's all a little bit floppy and the handbag is a little bit too formal to wear with um, this look as well. So here's my alternative to it. So this time I've paired the trousers with a pair of trainers. I've added this little um, hoodie top and I put this lovely jacket over the top, which is from The White Company. And um, this is perfect now because it's quite chilly still. And this is a lovely um, wool jacket. But later on, you could swap this out for one of the new shorter trench coats as well. That would be a great option. And again, I've added the crossbody bag just to give it some shape as well. So again, just a few little tweaks there that just give it that edge and make it a lot more interesting and a lot more on trend. And then this next outfit, um, these kind of uh, croc leg, almost chino-y style trousers, really great for the spring months. I've paired them with a long satin shirt and again, another one of these long cardigans. It just all looks a little bit boxy and even though I've put the animal print shoes with it just to try and add a little bit of style, this is the kind of thing that I see quite often and it's just all a little bit shapeless. So here's my alternative to that. So what I've done is I've actually put on, um, I've kept the shirt on but I've tucked it into the trousers and I've put a um, sweater over the top of that and again I've added the bag to give it shape and this time I have swapped the shoes to these kind of more modern interpretation of the ballet flat. Now there are still a lot of ballet shoes around this season, but um, you will see them with this kind of more almond toe shape. And some of them will be like a Mary Jane style with the strap across the foot as well. So that is the more updated version of the ballet flat if you still want to wear them. So a couple of little tweaks there. And again, I just think it looks much more stylish. So what about those longer length cardigans? Because if you do still want to wear them, yes, of course you can still wear them. But again, let's find a better way to wear them. So you can see in this first picture, I have paired them with a pair of very slim leg trousers. These aren't jeans. I, I know it looks a little bit like they're jeans in the um, picture, but they are just a pair of slim leg pull on trousers. And again, I've rolled the hem of them and put them with those platform trainers. I've kept the color underneath all one. In this case, I've used black, but obviously you can use whatever color you want. And then I've just put the long line necklace. So I'm keeping that lovely long column of color and I'm making my legs look longer by wearing the platform trainers as well. So I've got a lovely long, lean, slim look. Now, the other thing that you can do, what I've done here in this next picture is I've added over the top one of these long line puffer gilet and it gives it that lovely modern athleisure look to make it that little bit more young and fun and like I'm running around town busy on errands. And you can also put it with a shorter gilet as well as I have done here. 
So think about how you can play with those lengths a little bit, but I'm still keeping that long sort of column of colour underneath to give me that long lean look as well. So if you have got gilets in your wardrobe and you have got some of these longer cardigans, have a play around with them and then perhaps try the outfit with a pair of trainers as well. And then I've got one more um, outfit for you. Again, it's another pair of um, these kind of jogger style trousers because they are so popular at the moment. They are so comfortable to wear and they are the ones that I've actually got on today. So um, again, this is something that I see a lot, a pair of these with a pair of loafers and a sweater. And again, it's all quite shapeless and not very interesting, even though all of the pieces are really nice. It's a beautiful cashmere sweater that I've had for a few years from Hush. Um, the trousers are from Reese. The loafers are from John Lewis, but those three pieces to me just don't really work together. It needs to be a little bit more interesting than that. So this is how I actually wore these joggers um, when I was at Penny Hill Park last week on the second day when I went into the spa to work. So I just put underneath a, a vest which was slightly longer length than my sweater. Again, this sweater is um, a lovely lighter weight cashmere one uh, from the White Company. I've paired it with these trousers and kind of just hooked it up a little bit so that you can see the vest top coming down underneath. And then again, you can put the gilet over the top. It gives you that casual leisure look, but we're still being stylish and like it's had a little bit of attention given to it and a little bit of thought put into it. I'm gonna pop one more look in here, which is another one that I posted on Instagram. And that's with this lovely trench coat, which I found in, believe it or not, Marks and Spencers. It was, I thought, a really good price and I really liked the colour of it. If you're somebody who has a larger bust and doesn't want a double breasted trench coat then this one is a really good option and I think at a really good price as well. So I wore it with um, a pair of jeans, pair of trainers, longer line shirt, the lovely um, navy and white striped silk shirt that I had from Lily Silk last summer. So I hope what you're beginning to see here is that a lot of these pieces that I'm wearing are pieces that I already had in my wardrobe that I am adapting and I'm updating and I'm just adding a couple of new pieces. Um, I added the platform trainers, just a few things that have updated my wardrobe and made everything just that little bit more, more modern. So rather than going out and buying a whole new wardrobe, have a play in your wardrobe with what you've got and see what you could um, add, just one or two pieces that will just bring it up to date a little bit. Now, um, if you're a part of my style lounge, I will also have my trend report coming up next month. Um, obviously there's going to be lots of outfit ideas coming up there will be the seasonal capsule wardrobe as well so if you want to get access to all of that I will put details about the style lounge down in the description box as well as details about the VIP service if that's something that you're interested in as well so I hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of a mix there for you. Um, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments section. But please remember to be kind and courteous. And other than that, I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.